I bought this stuff right here in a gas station. It looks the same, but is it the same as this that comes from the liquor store? There's only one way to find out. Hey, let's drink. So in order to figure out this dilemma, I was shocked when I first started seeing Fireball come up in convenience stores in my home state of PA. So I decided, look, let's do some investigating. Smells like cinnamon. Also smells like cinnamon. So, while a lot of the similarities exist between these products, there is a major, major difference. If you can see in the bottom here, 33% alcohol, 66 proof. This stuff, this is, what is that, 16 point 16.5% .5 alcohol. Also, this is labeled as Fireball Cinnamon, whereas this is labeled as Fireball Cinnamon Whiskey. So, the absence of the term whiskey is important. So even though it's all in good fun, yes, there is a slight difference between the two, despite their appearance, despite everything. Marketing it as Fireball Cinnamon allows them to call this a malt beverage. See that? A malt beverage. Rather than a liqueur or a liquor like Fireball Cinnamon Whiskey is. By lowering the proof, they're able to sell this stuff in the stores. So mystery solved. But I'm sure you're saying, just taste it! Try it! What are you waiting for? Like all of my commenters seem to do, and, well, you're right. Let's try it. Cinnamon whiskey first. Ah. Not a huge Fireball fan to begin with, but it goes down smooth. It tastes kind of like Red Hots. That's what it's supposed to taste like. Now, for this fireball malt. I feel like to compensate for the half amount of alcohol that you're buying, they added a little bit more flavoring to it. It's got a little more cinnamony kick to it, just a tiny bit hotter, cinnamon-wise. Uh, whereas this is a little bit hotter alcohol-wise. Uh, there is a distinct difference, actually, believe it or not. I don't know that I could tell the difference in a blind tasting. I don't know the difference if you put this into a cocktail or something uh, and tell me it's Fireball. But there is a distinct taste difference um, overall. So that concludes this alcohol mystery. If you have any alcohol mysteries you'd like to see solved, let me know in the comments below. Until then, you can hit that subscribe button while I go buy myself a smoking pipe. Cheers.